When I was eight years old, we used to have a mechanic shop on 1803 Murray Avenue in Dalton, Georgia. And we loved having customers come in. I remember we had this sign outside the shop, $19.99 for oil change and $49.99 for a tune-up. And back then, you know, 20 bucks and 50 bucks seemed like so much money. And I remember talking to my older brother, like, man, wouldn't it be so cool if people came in and we had like 20 people come in and get tune up, you make a thousand dollars. And you know, we'd always just think about what it would be like to be successful and have awesome cars and like a, a fun lifestyle. And one day a customer came in with a Mustang. I was eight years old, so it was probably a 96, 97 Mustang. So fairly on the newer end. We had a mechanic that fixed up the car and we had a habit of always test driving the car before we gave it back to the customer, just to make sure everything is firing on all cylinders. And at that time, it was probably December. I distinctly remember that it was snowing and I wanted to ride in that car, in the convertible, because I'd never ridden in a convertible. And I thought a Mustang convertible was probably the coolest thing you could have as an eight or nine year old. And there was no room, obviously, it's a two door car. So I sat in the back seat with the convertible top down while it was snowing just to be able to experience what it's like to drive in a convertible. And ever since then, I had it in my mind that one day I'm going to have a convertible because it was such a cool experience. And lo and behold, when I graduated law school, the very first car that I bought was a 2005 Ford Mustang convertible. It was a V6. I got it for 5,800 bucks. I went and picked it up from Washington, DC. It had 130,000 miles on it. I knew that I was going to fix it up. I was going to put some rims on it, which I did. Put some 22-inch Lorenzo staggered wheels on it. Upgraded the LED lights. I had a connection with the interior upholstery guys. So I redid the crappy cloth seats and made them two-tone black and silver leather. And that was the very first car that I drove as an attorney. Ever since having that car, I've always wanted to keep a convertible in the stable. And now it's a 720S and who knows what's next. That's why I love convertibles.